Oh my gosh. Hey everybody. <laughs> this is Sam from Roslyn. I don't know if some of you remember me, but I got a story to tell you. And this story has to do with Mike Tyson and Alex the Destroyer Stewart. December 8th, 1990, Tyson had lost his heavyweight title to Buster Douglas and had not yet fought Evander twice, Holyfield. But I went to this fight in uh, the convention The, the Trump Plaza in Atlantic City, the Convention Hall, it was a, actually attached to Caesar's Palace back then. And uh, the fight was there, and on the undercard was uh, Julio Caesar Chavez fighting some Korean dude, uh, Duck Khan, AHN. That was un actually the undercard, the Junior Welterweight Championship of the World. I was with my friends, Billy J, Weasel, Uncle Weasel to my kids, <laughs> and a guy named Roach. We paid $50 plus $2 surcharge to be in the nosebleeds. <clears throat> I went, it was my turn to get the beer. So I went out the back steps and downstairs to get the beer, unknowingly, not realizing that Caesar's Palace was con con connected to this boardwalk hall. Two girls were walking up the steps. Now, Sam the man was 34 years old. I am now 59 at the time I'm telling this story. Two girls walking up the steps with two trays, like you would have in school, you know, for lunch period. One was a beautiful blonde that was about five foot ten, real tall. And the other, I recognized immediately as Joan Jett. The artist is saying, hit me with your best shot. Is that right, son? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I wasn't born until 86. <laughs> I said, ladies, I didn't even get the beer. I said, ladies, can I be of some assistance? And I reached out and I grabbed Joan's Jet's tray. And she handed it to me and she said, you're such a gentleman. And the blonde goes, I noticed he grabbed your tray and not mine. In which I replied, a lady, she gave me the tray first. I knew it was Joan Jett, but I wasn't quite sure exactly. Well, she says, well, follow us down to ringside. 20th row, 15th row, 10th row, 8th row, 6th row, 4th row, 3rd row. There's Jack Nicholson. There's Leroy Nyman, the artist with the big mustache. There's Manute Bowl, the basketball player with Charles Barkley. Manu Bowl was like eight feet tall. There's Hector Macho Camacho wearing a woman's mink coat. <laughs> and she says to me, thank you. Thank you. You are a gentleman. There are so few gentlemen today. And the guards and the bodyguards rushed in, took the tray out of my hands and started pushing me away. And Joan Jett and her friend were three or four seats in, like seats five and six or seven and eight. And she told the bodyguards to let go, let go of me. And she goes, well, thank you very much. What's your name? And I said, I'm Sam. And I reached out my hand and she shook my hand and she said, I'm Joan. To which I replied, I know. <laughs> I quick run all the way back into the Caesar's Palace, into the refreshment area, and I get the beer. 
Uh, go back to the nosebleed seats. Fifty dollars plus two dollars surcharge per seat. <laughs> I missed the Razor Ruddock fight, the undercard fight, one of the undercards. My friend Weasel says, "Yo, Sam, where the hell have you been?" Man, I was in the hallway and I bumped into the Jung Jet and his beautiful model friend of hers. And like I took their food tray down to the ring. It was like the third or fourth row and you should have seen all the dignitaries down there. And my friend Roach said, you're full of shit. You probably went into the casino and played blackjack. And to this day, from December 8th, 1990, nobody believes me that I bumped into Joan Jett <laughs> at the Mike Tyson, Alex the Destroyer and Stewart fight, in which the undercard was Julio Cesar Chavez fighting for the junior weight, well, the weight championship of the world. Nobody believes me. But anybody who's old enough, and I'm 59 now, can remember the Boardwalk Convention Hall was attached to Caesar's Palace. In Atlantic City. All right, who won the fight, though? Cesar Chavez? Or? Chavez knocked out the Korean dude in four rounds and retained the IBF WBC junior welterweight title that was 140 pounds. And then the main event, Tyson knocked down Stewart three times in the first round. And after the first knockdown, you could see some of the people getting up and leaving because <laughs> they knew the fight was over. He was a beast, even after he lost his title to Buster Douglas.